Living 808 is back with Hawaii's Kitchen. We are at Chef Zone, and today we're doing something a little different. We are with the executive corporate chef for Waihata, Chris Blanc. Thank you for having us out to Chef Zone today and joining hey, us. Hey, thank you so much for having me here. Of course. Well, what is one of the things that comes with the territory of being the corporate executive chef for Waihata? Anything fun that you've learned on the job? One of my favorite things is just is being able to work with our, with our customers and our partners. Um, collaborating with them and you know just uh, coming up with great solutions um, in, in any way factor form so it's, it's been a, a awesome journey and we've talked to about chef zone itself there are thousands of products ingredients <laughs> anything you must be like you know a kid in candy store it, yeah it can be a little bit overwhelming sometimes um, sometimes I'll be out there shopping for things that I need and uh, somebody will stop me and ask me where products are and there's just so much um, that sometimes it's a journey for both of us to go out there and and treasure hunt for these particular items that somebody's looking for. But there are so many really great products here, um, especially some exclusive products that we exclusively carry only here at Chef Zone. Okay, so what are we gonna cook first off today? First thing we're gonna do today is make some shrimp wontons. Okay. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna showcase uh, something we have exclusively here at Chef Zone, which is our Ocean King shrimp. Um, and I wanted to make it fun and something that you guys can do uh, here at home. So let's get going. All right, so uh, we're utilizing our Ocean King shrimp. Um, I took these and I just kind of pulsed them in the food processor. Uh, you can do it with a knife on your chopping board if you can. If you have a food processor, that's always the best way. Um, so I have about uh, one pound here. I'm sorry, half a pound. I have about a half a pound of shrimp here. Um, so we're gonna add that in. We have a little bit of sesame oil. You know sesame oil, a little bit goes a long way, yeah? A few times at home, I've, I've gone a little nuts with the sesame oil. I mean, there's no going back, so I'm showing you. Some Shaoxing. Shaoxing is um, Chinese cooking wine. Um, it's, also, it's also, it's kind of known as like the Chinese sherry. Like a Chinese sherry wine just adds a ton of flavor. Um, and for me, the secret is um, this right here, which is um, some Hondashi um, pebbles. Um, this is gonna add some really great umami and just a little bit of smokiness to our um, wonton. Um, and then I'm a huge fan of scallions. Um, so for me, the more the merrier. And then we're gonna add the, yo uh, the white of one egg. So we're gonna add all this together and we're gonna kinda incorporate that all in together just to make this nice little magical, majestic harmony of flavors, like a nice little umami bomb in your mouth for lack of better words, yeah. Wontons can be intimidating. They can. So you know what? I wanted to show um, a different, a couple different ways that you can wrap them or fold them um, based on anybody's skill level or, or time, for lack of better words. Because sometimes time can be our biggest enemy, yeah. So um, we're going to do kind of a, a sexy way, like make like a little, a little shrimp wonton purse. Um, then we can also do like a nice little pouch. Um, both equally taste as great. Um, one is just more if you want to impress somebody, <laughs> or the other is just um, a little bit easier, more simplistic. So this is kind of what we're going for here. Um, that egg is going to be a nice binder, so it's going to really, it's going to hold all that that good shrimp love and kind of make like a nice little meatball inside that um, wonton pouch. So that's uh, that's what we're going for there. So here is the filling. So this is step one of this process. Okay, so we have the feeling. Really, all we got to do is take a little time out, get stuffed, and we'll get this dish going, and then start looking ahead toward the next one. Chef Chris, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, short time out. We'll be back and continue the shrimp wonton after this on Living in a Wait. Okay, there is the feeling. We kind of got a good instruction from him on doing that and mm -hmm. using great ingredients from there. Chef Zone. We're gonna continue making that next time we check in over at Chef Zone. Oh gosh. What a fun segment you got to do. I could smell the filling. <laughs> and <we have laughs> Just looking at it. Two different takes on shrimp, so if you love shrimp, it's a good day to be watching. <laughs> I love shrimp. A new class. Living 808 is back with Hawaii's Kitchen from Chef Zone. And today, again, we are with Waihata's executive corporate chef, Chris Blanc. We are working on the shrimp wonton. And when last we left off, we had the filling. What's left to do now, Chef Chris? So now we're just gonna, we're gonna make our wonton purses. Um, so I'm gonna show you a couple different applications of how you can use your shrimp filling. Um, so the first one, so remember I said we used um, the white of one egg. So you can also use the yolk um, as kind of like the glue. You can also use water. 
I actually, I like using the yolk because it's kind of like the super glue. So where water will make it adhere, but the yolk really just kind of uh, makes it all happen. So we're going to do two different kinds, uh, or two different ways that you can do them. So you want to grab about a tablespoon, put that right in the center, and we'll do a couple, we'll line a couple up here. How about that? Be like a production line, okay? And I love wontons. It could be shrimp, pork, vegetables in there, it doesn't matter. Anything fried is okay with me. Take a little bit out of this one, okay? And you can do this with, uh, and you can do this in multiple, multiple variations, but, and you can add um, any other things that you like. If you're a spice, if you like spice, like myself, you can add some, ch excuse me, some chili flake to this uh, would be really good. Okay, so for the purse, we're gonna go around the outside. And again, you can use the, wa you can use water, um, but you only need the white for the filling. So you might as well be resourceful and use your yolk as well, yeah? Okay, so now we're gonna take the two adjacent corners and put them up and then we're going to come with the other one kind of pinch give them all a nice little pinch and just kind of close the whole enclose the whole thing and it makes a nice little beautiful purse does it take a lot of trial and error you learn a lot by touch um no this is super easy honestly the egg yolk makes it so much easier because sometimes the uh using the water um, you know, if you don't put enough or it kind of dries out, mm -hmm. it, uh, it can come undone on you. So, you know, the egg yolk for me is just a little trick. Um, you know, and again, you're just taking the two corners, putting them together, pinch. You're kind of just bringing all the corners together um, and just pinching them. And then the last kind of trick is when you put this last one on, while you still have your openings here, you kind of want to take the air out of it. Okay, so another option is um, you can kind of put your shrimp on the side here like this and do and we can do and we can just fold it um, in half on a diagonal on a bias for lack of better words is it just preference on which way you want to do it or just yeah I mean I think that um, the purse comes out with a little bit more crispy ends mm -hmm. um, so for me you know this one you're definitely gonna get just kind of like that that bomb of, of flavor right here um, and you can also take a fork and kind of just crease your edges if you want I, I seem to have put just a little bit too much in there mm -hmm. so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna squeeze some out because the last thing you want to do is overfill it and then all your goodness comes out when you fry them. You don't want that. And all the products you can get here? All these products, yes, you can get at Chef Zone from our Ocean King shrimp, which are just fantastic shrimp. Um, super clean and fresh. Um, as well as the wonton wrappers or gyoza wrappers. All right, shrimp wonton, frying those up, and we're going to come back and have more with that and a pasta shrimp dish as well. Uh, we have a double duty shrimp served up here at Chef Zone for Hawaii's Kitchen coming up on Living It Away. Aren't those cute? <laughs> Super Just, cute. Mm -hmm. And I'm okay, I'm not a chef, um, and I did not know about that, y that yolk um, little hack. Yes, yes. If you've done that, like I've done it with mandu pot stickers in Korean culture, but yeah, that's one of the things that you do. So definitely uh, can do that for all types of dumplings. Very cool. I, is there any, you know, done here? Do we have shrimp <laughs> no, wontons back here? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and the shrimp pasta is still to come. It's okay. We are back on Living 808 with Hawaii's Kitchen from Chef Zone with the Waihata Corporate Executive Chef, Chris Blanc, and we are going to finish up the shrimp wonton and get started on another dish here for our last segment. All right, how's it going, Chef Chris? All right, looks good. So here we go. Just gonna pull our wontons out, give them a little bit of salt. We're gonna place these on our tray here. And then you can use any sauce you want um, for this application. Um, we're gonna make, I'm gonna do a, uh, like a, a spicy shoyu. So we're, I'm gonna use some sambal. I'm basically doing like a 
two to one part, so two part um, sambal to a one part shoyu. Um, you can use the uh, shoyu and hot mustard if you want. You can use a sweet chili glaze. Um, it's really personal preference, whatever you like. So we're just gonna add that in there like that and just give it a little mix. This reminds me of like a dim sum, like the little condiments that you would get when you eat dim sum. So, but there you go. This makes a great poo poo. And if you make plenty extra, you can just put a little bit of cornstarch in a, in a bag mm -hmm. and freeze them. And then you got them for whenever you like. Perfect. Okay. Perfect poo poo. That does. It's going to be a crowd pleaser. And we're going to finish off today on Hawaii's Kitchen with a shrimp pasta. Yeah. So, um, I thought I'd show you guys how to cross utilize um, one particular product. So, if you come here to Chef Zone and, and buy a five pound bag of shrimp from us, um, I'm gonna show you two different applications on how you can utilize that. Um, so obviously we have our, our wonton. Um, now we're gonna make a shrimp pasta, um, which is super easy. Um, it's gonna pack a whole bunch of flavor. It's gonna taste like a $30 restaurant dish that you can make very simply at your own home. Okay. What right. are the ingredients in this one? So we have our uh, Ocean King 1620 shrimp. We have some um, of our Via Frizzoni farfalle pasta. Uh, that farfalle is just a fancy Italian word for bow tie, uh, for, of, with some bow tie pasta. Garlic, onion, parsley, hondashi, and some chili flake. Okay, let's go. And we'll drop our pasta in to get warm. This pasta's already been cooked. Kind of loosen it up a little bit, and we're just gonna drop this into our hot water just to get hot one more time to warm it up. It doesn't want to come out, see? All right, we want our pan to get nice and hot. You want your pan nice and smoking hot because um, you want to create a nice sear on your shrimp. Um, so what you want to hear is exactly that right there. So you want you want those sugars in whatever protein that you're cooking to get a nice caramelization because um, that's just going to create an abundance of flavor, yeah? You want to kind of evenly disperse them in the pan. I'm going to hit this with a little bit of salt. Is there a reason you do the shrimp first? Some people say the shrimp for last. No, you want to do the shrimp first because what we're doing, you want to make sure your pasta is cooked. My pasta was pre-cooked. I'm just warming it in the water. But you want to do the shrimp first because we're going to create our sauce inside of, the, inside of this pan. And what you want, what you're building right now is you're building flavors. And as you can see, as I turn my shrimp, you get that little bit of, of shrimp goodness stuck to the pan. Um, the fun French word for that is called fond, F-O-N-D. That's going to create an abundance of flavor. So we're going to add about a cup and a half of white wine. And then we, we're just deglazing with our white wine right here. And again, as we're deglazing, we're going to kind of scrape all that good shrimp fond right off the bottom. And as that's working, I'm going to strain this pasta so that we got some nice hot pasta to go in there. We're going to let this reduce just a little bit more. We're going to, you want your, uh, your white wine to um, reduce by about three quarters, um, just enough for that butter to stick to, to mount. Um, and then we're going to take ice cold butter and slowly incorporate that into our um, white wine deglaze. Um, and that's going to create a nice creamy rich sauce. And we're just going to hit it with a little bit of cheese. Um, some fresh herbs, garlic. We're actually going to add our garlic and shallots now while it's deglazing because this is like a garlic shrimp pasta. Some garlic and shallots. So infuse some good flavor there. Um, we're also going to hit it with a little bit of the home dashi. And again, that's just going to be an umami bomb there. So we don't want to cook that too much. We'll cook that down just a little bit. Just a touch of pasta water. And that's going to help just kind of thicken up Get that guy out of there. All right, that's right about where we want to be. That's just going to help. The starch from that pasta water is just going to help to thicken our sauce. All right, so we're going to turn this down. Now that we got a little bit of liquid left in there, we're going to start to slowly add some butter. All right, now that we've created our sauce, now that we've mounted with our sauce, we're gonna add some, some Parmesan or cheese of your choice. Parmesan would be ideal. We're gonna add our pasta. And then I personally like a little chili flake in my pasta. This is optional. A little chili flake just for some heat. Mm -hmm. And a little bit of parsley. 
Um, all the spices that I'm using, you can get exclusively here at Chef Zone. This is our Katie's Kitchen brand. So it shouldn't be too saucy. It should have just enough to kind of coat the pasta and create that nice sheen, but it shouldn't be drowning in the sauce. So now we're gonna just kind of plate, nicely plate our shrimp, our pasta. We wanna save some of these nice shrimp to put right on top. There we go, like that. And there you have it, shrimp done two ways by Waihata's corporate executive chef, Chris Blanc. Thank you so much for having us out. We can't wait to try it all. Thanks for having me. Yes, you know, I got good bites of both. <laughs> they were delicious. I love shrimp, too, so I was looking for good ways to cook it up. Ooh! And then, you know, you also said uh, during the package that you like your chili flakes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> With your stuff. You guys, I can, but... You know, that's why I give it to all my all stuff to Tanya. <laughs> <laughs> you have to do just spice it up a little bit. So yeah. thanks to Chef Zone for having us out and for White Hot's corporate executive chef for giving us some great ideas on what to do with shrimp. Okay, yeah. we're going to wrap things up after this. <laughs>